So, tell me where you're from and a little about yourself. Well, my name is Nyoki. I've had a lot of names. My first name was Phoenix. But, um, and like, I was really good at yoga when I was young and then before I got spayed. So, I used to be called Yogi as well. I'm very quiet. Um, I was born in Philadelphia. Um, my mom was in a pretty precarious situation, but she kept taking in cats anyway. And um, uh, so when she was kicked out of her foreclosure, I had just been born. I think I was about um, a month old. And uh, we moved to Chicago. We all packed up in her SUV and drove out to Chicago and um, we've been living here ever since. Things just slowly get better over time, um, but it's not always easy. I, um, I lived in Gary, Indiana for a little bit for about two years and when I was there my mom had a house and a bunch of us cats before she started adopting us out. Sometimes we would escape out the window and she would come home and we would be playing outside. And I really liked it until one day I met this raccoon and it kind of scared me a little bit. Um, so I finally came back home and never left again. And um, I'm just a very quiet cat. I can be rough if I have to defend myself, but I don't like to, so I try to just kind of keep to myself. There's a couple of the big boy cats that I really like, and um, sometimes I just cuddle with them and let them groom me, but most of the time I just sleep by myself, and um, my favorite thing is probably when nobody's noticing that my mom is in bed, and there's a spare space beside her. I love that. I just run in there and jump up in there and sleep beside her. I don't get to do it as much as I would like to, though. But it is one of my favorite things. So what makes you um, be so quiet? What makes you kind of on the shy side? Why haven't you found a really close friend um, with the other cats? I think it was just a little bit hard because I was a little baby and there were some grown cats and they weren't used to sharing their mom with me and so I just kind of learned that it was the easiest if I just kind of stayed in the corners and um, then I wouldn't get, you know, scratched or fights with the other cats and then as my mom started finding homes for some of the bigger ones um it made a lot more space for me but I guess I'm just not totally sure um how to stay safe and get love so I usually wait until I know for sure that it's an okay moment for me to get love from my mom and then I do alright I'm gonna let her know what would you say is uh, your favorite type of music? I think I really like guitar. I, I really enjoy soothing music. Um, and I have a very deep soul. And so I really enjoy um, just, you know, my mom just playing music. What do you do when you see a laser point? Whoa, that is a lot of fun. Um, I think that is just like the most fun thing ever. And we are really competitive about it at our house, but we also kind of play like what a human would call soccer. So um, it's really fun to wait for that dot to get near me. And then I get to chase it if it comes near me. But as soon as it goes near another cat, I have to stop and it's that cat's turn. It's like everybody just kind of knows that's the way it goes. So, you, you see, so if you can keep your you know, your eye on that laser and you just keep going, 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 
then you get to chase it for longer and longer and longer. The minute you like slack just a little bit, somebody else will jump in and grab that dot, and then your turn is over. So it's really fun and exciting, and it's one of my favorite things. If someone were going to play you in a movie about your life, who would you choose and why? I think Jennifer Connelly would be a really good person to play me because she has that quiet strength. Um, she's not she's not insecure. She's just quiet and um, kind of uh, is able to really connect, but only uh, as it take only as the people like work for it. Okay, how do you feel about grooming? getting cut, hair brushed, uh, getting baths, stuff like that? Well, first of all, I do not like my nails getting cut. I don't like um, being picked up in general. Um, my mom has definitely been a little bit annoying about that and has, you know, tried to work on that with me so I can stand it for like a second of being picked up. Every now and then, if I'm held just right, uh, then I'll, you know, I can stand like a minute, but most of the time, not at all. And, um, so I just don't like being confined, but I do love my hair being brushed. I think it just feels really good. I do tend to kind of shed a lot, even though I'm a very short-haired cat. So, um, I just love it. It feels so good to have my hair brushed. I can get it done over and over and over again, especially like the back of my, uh, uh, my tail, like on my spine, right before my tail, that's my favorite part to get scratched, even with like your fingernails or something. Okay, and on a serious note, is it ever, ever okay to bite a human, and if so, when? I mean, for the most part, there's never a reason really to bite a human. Um, they are very big, and I think they do take up a lot of space, and sometimes they move very fast, but I'm usually pretty good at getting out of people's way. Um, sometimes I just think, you know, if they pet me and they kind of make me feel confined, I'll give them a little nibble just to let them know I'm uncomfortable, because I like to give people a warning. I don't like to just bite. I can't think of when I've ever had to just bite. I think, you know, all the times I've given them a little nibble, uh, the person's gotten a message and kind of like giving me a little more space and um, then it worked out fine. Okay, and if you could live anywhere, what would you imagine it would look like? I think that I would like to live with um, people who are quiet. Um, nothing, nothing like round and rambunctious. I don't think I would be a big fan of children. Um, Unless they were very, like, you know, introverted um, and slow-moving children. But I, I think my ideal one would be one where um, it was just one or two other people. And um, they would like it if I slept with them at night. I do really like sleeping with people at night. It's, it's kind of a really cool way to get affection without like, being, like, too uh, confining. It just kind of makes me feel more on, on the same level, and I really like that. I have very, very, very soft fur, and I think I'm a very sensitive person. And um, so I think that if somebody else was very sensitive, we would really get each other. And um, I think that's about it. Okay, last question. Forest or ocean? I think definitely forest. I think there's so many cute little nooks to just like cozy up in. Um, I would love to like sit in the nook of a tree um, and just listen to all the noises. I love listening to the birds and watching the birds. And I just like to kind of be comfortable while I do it. Well, thank you for your time with us here. Thank you for letting us get to know you a little better. And hopefully someone will see this and fall in love with you. And if so, reach out and you can see what you feel about that. Maybe after this is all said and done, there will be a home out there waiting for you specifically to love you specially. And I hope 
hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.